हेलो एंड वेलकम टू डेटा की बात व्हाट इज 101 इंट्रोडक्शन बिगिनिंग बिगिनर्स गाइड और समथिंग दैट यू रियली वांट टू नो समथिंग न्यू दैट यू आर नॉट फुली अवेयर एंड यू वांट टू नो मोर अबाउट दैट सो फॉर डेमा वी आर इन अ सिचुएशन स्पेशली इन इंडिया where we probably need to know a little bit more we need to get acquainted with um what is there in it for us uh how it is you know driving the sense of community around data professional and how we can nurture this in our country specifically so with that reason i you know we wanted to really keep this topic dama 101 and today uh we have a guest who is going to really walk us through around uh all about dama at the very high level uh, kind of a good beginning for us and then from there on we will you know uh, take questions as you, you know have so without further delay i am going to invite peter viven who is a vp chapter dama international so peter welcome to the show and uh, we would start with a quick introduction of yourself and then we will get into the conversation Thank you Sanjeev for the introduction and for inviting me on your show. Uh much appreciated. We uh, from Dama would like to uh, have uh, the Dama in India chapter on board for our national and uh, international community. Uh my background is uh, data management in the most broad sense uh, in uh, as, as described by Dama itself. I started as a data scientist. nobody knew what i was doing so i had to explain it by increasing the data quality by getting a, a commitment from senior management and in the end i found dema which was explaining the holistic view on data management so currently i am uh, working in the in the broad field of data management uh, supporting various uh, uh big companies mainly mainly in europe to uh, become more mature in the data management field currently i'm the vice president chapter services and helping up uh, forming uh, uh forming new chapters in the whole world uh, on dema and today it is uh, dema india that we would like to have joined in our community great thank you very much so uh i know there are you know people out there uh uh as i said in the beginning right there is lot that we can do in this part of the world about dema and uh, we would uh, really like to you know get uh, a full support from dema international and then you know you know take it from there so we will we'll get to those conversation i am also going to invite uh, you know three enthusiastic uh, data professional who have joined hands and uh, we are going to really drive this uh, you know uh, in india so we will get them introduced as well at the later point in the call but before that right uh, i would like to get started with you know what you have got for all of us in the dama 101 okay so uh from the chapter perspective right uh as we are starting uh here in india right uh how, how is your experience throughout the world as you said you are trying to build this community uh uh speaking to various people you know country specific area specific region specific right what what why the community is very important uh in, in when, when it comes to data uh, as a you know profession or as a as a stream um uh, the, the setting up a community <coughs> is very important uh, be, because we still see that uh data management is not uh, accepted in all companies uh mm -hmm. uh um, yeah to to enable the, the 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 benefits that you could achieve uh, mm -hmm. with harmonization on data one of the problems is that you uh, need to create a synergy within an organization across business units having a hierarchical structure in your organization uh, uh creates a problem on communication and therefore you have to find a right balance in uh, the data management processes to enable your communication in your organization and therefore having people understand that will really benefit uh, lots of uh, organizations uh getting uh, the harmonization and the uh, benefits of the, of an improved data management organization yeah 
You're on mute, uh, Sanjeev. Hey, sorry. Uh, so how about uh, walking us through the current structure, uh, how uh, it is set up, how it operates, and so on and so forth. That's That will basically give everybody an idea of you know DAMA and international, and then you know, yeah. we will further get into the question based upon what user wants to know. OK. Perfect. So here you go. So today we're going to uh, introduce the DEMA India chapter as part of the, the DEMA international community. Can you go to the next slide, Sanjeev? Yep. So as said, uh, we, we are a, a, a big uh, data association management organization. Uh, it has started in 1980 in the US and it has now become an international organization. It's not US uh, led anymore. We are yep. presented in 65 nations. Uh, 50 affiliated chapters and there are lots of them in uh, formation uh, at the moment. So it's growing rapidly, getting mature uh, throughout the whole world. And the reason for our existence is that we would like to challenge all the com complexity that is coming our way at the moment in uh, society, businesses, to, and that is something that we think we have an, an answer on. Can you go to the next slide? Yep. So what are, what are we, DEMA International? We are all volunteers, not for proper for the organization. We think we've got a message to tell to uh, the world that it is not a, uh, that we need to have a additional view from data perspective towards the organization. And by having one holistic view, we would like to share that uh, to the world as uh, and therefore we think we are an essential re resource to everybody uh, who's working in the data management field and what are we here for to develop data management pr professionals like yourself to improve your skills to understand what are the latest trends to uh, understand what is the best best practice what is good practice and to help you uh, support your organization to uh, get all the benefits that data management uh, promises. Can you go to the next slide? Organizational goals. Uh, so one of the things that we're doing, we are uh, focusing on education. There, there are lo lots of uh, uh, trainings on data management. We think uh, with our CDMP program, we, we uh, can uh, certify data management professionals in a way that you can see th these are people who really understand data management and uh, therefore uh, these people can, can help us strengthen the prof profession and therefore uh, we don't want to do that alone we also want to liaise with other alliances like business architecture uh, organizations uh, uh, the data literacy organizations and also uh, bit more business oriented or, uh, organizations where we set up alliances to become uh, the one and only expert in the data management fields. That is our major goal. Okay, okay go to the next slide. So what I've said, so we need to get a, 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 a community and we need to have, uh, we are the trusted partner who collaborate with all the, the various organizations in the world. And we will be seen as the one and only international standard for data management professionals. You see the amount of chapters that are already working in. So uh, in most countries, it's, it's already accepted as the standard. Uh, you see it, uh, it is part of uh, university trainings, it is part of uh, government uh, uh, roles. Uh, CDMP is required in lo lots of roles already around the world. So you see we have already sub established something as the base for, uh, for uh, data management in the world. And now the, the challenge for us is to get an sustainable solution for the future with the help of you, for, with the help of other data management professionals, share the knowledge, get a sustainable uh, solution in place and uh, help your organization in a way that we are prepared for the 21st uh, century. So Peter, one question here, right? I mean, uh, just stuck in my mind, right? Uh, from the uh, government's 
standpoint, right? I mean, is, are there uh, use cases uh, where the principles and framework has been applied and it has really benefited uh, public from the you know social good and public good and you know economical you know uh, you know plannings and you know from the government end? Do you have uh, such use cases? Um, we have a, a very good initiative from the DEMA UK that is uh, mm -hmm. has currently launched a data quality uh, strategy. So mm -hmm. DEMA uh, UK has been in the lead for the government to set up the the, 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 the data quality uh, 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 rules, the principles, just to help all the government organizations to improve the data quality. Now, why is that so important? Mm -hmm. If I, uh, you, you can read the newspapers, there's always problems with, with data. Currently uh, in, the, in the Netherlands, we have a, a problem with, uh, with uh, where people were just uh, judged by some, some data that was received somewhere, but nobody uh, was checking the data quality. Mm -hmm. And therefore, uh, lots of people did not receive their, their income just because the data was not right. So that's a, ma a major crisis. Uh, so you see, and the, the problem was that it was so complex that nobody could, could have the overview anymore. And there you see that helping government with the right principles is the best way forward, just uh, to help the government uh, understand what they're doing, understand the consequences. It is not just having a, a project, not just having setting the goals. Quality is becoming an, an, an instrument to reduce the complex uh, issues that we have. The data management, the data view is very important on that. Great, thanks, yeah, yeah, good, yeah. So where are we coming from? DEMA, we started in uh, 1964 with uh, some in, uh, 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 informal meetings. Uh, in 1980, the first chapter has been uh, established we moved, uh, we continued uh, uh, in the North uh, American, uh, the, the first chapter outside of the, the USA was the UK in 1983. And step by step, we were uh, formalizing it. And then you see that we started with the DEMA uh, dictionary, where we could explain all the various terms that are uh, around there in the world. Uh, we continued with an overview of all the various tools and methods by the mm -hmm. data management body of knowledge. Mm -hmm. And to explain it uh, uh, for uh, other people as well, we also have the uh, navigating the labyrinth. And now we have uh, recently uh, adopted the certified data management program to uh, show that data management is a expertise on, on its own and we need to get that on the table and we need to have certified people to tell that story for us. Yeah, no, I think this 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 one uh, topic we were discussing as a team uh, earlier that, uh, I mean, I would really love to know that what kind of a certification percentage, I mean, people, how many people are certified from the India region. I, I'm going to collect that data definitely to really see. Right. And, and that would be a good measure for us to, you know, probably, you know, start as a baseline that okay this is where we are and this is where we want to go uh, and, and spread the word right that's very important so i saw a couple of people recently certified on the linkedin and i'm going yep. to really reach out to them and then you know uh, probably collect more data and then see how and where we are great point. yeah okay so here you see the the various books that we have uh, discussed navigating the labyrinth if you have mm -hmm. to uh, convince your manager buy the book Give it a book mm -hmm. and uh, it is on sea level management. Very easy explained what mm -hmm. the big, thick book of the, the data management body of knowledge is about. That's the 648 pages. So uh, that's a moral challenge, but very w uh, worth reading. And the last one is the, uh, the, the, the glossary. I always say uh, we, as a data management professional, mm -hmm. We, uh, we go to organizations and uh, we try to speak the same language in, in the organization, but data management professionals itself all, all speak a different language. And that's what we would like to solve with the, uh, with the glossary itself. Yeah. Hey, Peter, I'll, I'll you know stop you for a while. Uh, we want to keep it like a both-side conversation and not a monologue. 
So yep. uh, there, is, there are people, I mean, a couple of people who said hi, hello, so hi, everyone. And, uh, you know, uh, one question that came just now is like, why only certification matters and not real time experience? Sorry, can you repeat the question? Why only certifications matter and not real time experiences? Uh, that, that's a very good question because for us both matter. Uh, currently, we will, we will, uh, have a certification where you can show that your uh, knowledge is okay. So we separate the people who uh, uh, don't know anything about data from the people who are experienced. Mm -hmm. uh, that helps for uh, people. Currently, uh, there are lots of data data science uh, people who just start working, but they don't have a clue about data quality. They don't have a clue about uh about data architectures for instance that's not what they have been taught on uh, universities mm -hmm. and therefore you need to understand who can and that is where the cdmp is for but on the other hand on the moment you want to grow you want to become a cdmp master then that is part of our certification program that we also look at your uh, your expertise so with the data management fundamentals we say you have the knowledge but if you are cdmp master then you have the knowledge and the experience so we we cover both perfect perfect great so then we'll uh, yeah there is uh, one answer from the audience itself right right certification yeah. kind of give a foundation for someone who is totally new uh you know and uh, uh the new topic and concept and they see what is relevant for the organization and apply those. So that's a great answer, Hemant. Uh, thanks for answering as well. So Peter, we'll move on to the next. Uh, yeah. Uh, how about how about uh, DAMA uh, DM Bob? Because I think people really do talk about it. Uh, yeah. What is so special about it? Uh, if you look at the data management body, body of knowledge, it is uh, uh, you can see it as the consensus based on the data management professionals around the world. So mm -hmm. it 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 it, it uh, comprises of all the various uh, methods and techniques, mm -hmm. and what it does is just uh, answering the how question: How do I not? Why do I need, need data management? You can use navigating the labyrinth for that, but uh, what exactly? is the best practice in the world for data warehousing? What is the best practice in the world for data science? What is So these kind of things is just a list where you can choose the best one for your organization by just reading the characteristics and apply them to your own organization. So that is the, the, the key benefit of the data management body of knowledge. It is the, the, the common sense of all data management professionals worldwide. Yeah. I thought it is like you read it, but you have to keep referring to it. Uh, so it's like your companion, I would say, yeah. rather than uh, really a book, because generally we read the book and kind of leave it. But then you have to really revisit this, you know, many times, or maybe most of the time when you are dealing with data. So I think uh, that's what my thought, uh, you know, would be on this. Great. Yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, I got one more. Can you please cover the process and different certification of CDMP? Uh, yeah. And yep. we are, I think we have the slide, right, Peter? Yep. We will yep. we'll go there. Yeah, perfect. Sure, we'll do that. Uh, sign then. Thanks. Yep. So we'll move on to the next one. Yeah. Here you see that uh, we uh, would like to introduce Dema and India as a, a local chapter, and they will have their own brand. They will represent uh, Dema. Uh, they, they can support you with, with a CDMP uh, uh, certification or guide you the way who's going to, to be able to, to support that. In addition, we have Dataversity as our uh, partner where you can do uh, online courses, so pre-recorded courses uh, and all the others that Dema India is there for you to, to support you in that. Hey, that's a great news. Thanks. I think, yeah, Dema India, obviously. Uh, as we said, uh, we wanted to really have, you know, have this introduced, have it supported. And there are, you know, a couple of more people, very enthusiastic, passionate guys. So we'll have them also on the show. So uh, do not go anywhere. We will have the them introduce themselves and then, you know, get along. So, yeah. Thank you, Peter. Okay. Uh, more on the next one. So this is what we just discussed, Navigating the Labyrinth, written by uh, Laura Sebastian Coleman. 
asset, yeah. buy it for your manager and uh, ask the budget for the training and, uh, and, and your program just based on this book. Very readable, very low, uh, low access and uh, still getting the point of what is important on data management. Perfect. I move on to the next slide, but there is a question that just came up here. I will flash the question. I was in the excitement. I forgot that we can definitely do that so that everybody can see. <laughs> so any plan to have short term courses specifically, especially designed for university students? Arpit Mudgal. Yes. Thanks for asking the question, Peter. Arpit, very good question. Uh, I'm teaching myself on university. Uh, uh, we are just launching the first DM book uh, uh, study. So you, we, we can, uh, in, in the Netherlands, so you can now have uh, uh, you can now study for the, for data quality analyst, for data steward, data engineer, just specifically uh, tailor made based on DM book from beginning to end. Mm -hmm. All that knowledge is available. There are other uh, countries uh, like Australia is doing this. Uh, the, we have our uh, president, uh, Peter Aiken, who is uh, mm -hmm. teaching on uh, the Virginia U uh, University. Saudi Arabia is interested and uh, most people just want to share that knowledge. So if you're interested, we can share starting knowledge and you can see how it is used in universities. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Thank you. Uh, one more uh, is there for us, uh, Peter. So let's take that question. Uh, I'll flash it on the screen. So uh, I find Dama Diembok expensive in India and few, very few organizations get certifications sponsored. I have a decade plus experience in master and reference data in capital market. I mean, I think the question probably means that uh, I mean, again, experience and certification and also the cost. I think, Peter, we talked about that. Yep. I'm not sure you know, what can be done, but I mean, please, your thoughts. Uh, that, that is why it is good to have the, the Dema India chapter, because this is something specific for cert certain countries. We always have to find solutions for that. We just have a standard for the whole world. If there are problems, that is why we, we need to have people like Sanjeev here and try to find a solution for it for your area on that. Yeah. So I don't, basically, I don't know the answer yet, but uh, Sanjeev uh, will rapidly uh, help us in that, I think. Yeah, so mainly, I mean, what we are doing and what we are discussing, I, I'm, I'm not able to read the name of the user here, but uh, you know, LinkedIn user is what I'm seeing. But yeah, thank you very much for the question. Uh, uh, we have to be creative. I mean, we have to you know plan uh, in, a, in, a, in a certain way that it can be, you know, uh, you know, baked into this whole, you know, based upon geography also, India, obviously, uh, cost sensitive, I would have to say that, and we'll have to plan, uh, you know, different ways of making that happen, and uh, you know, take it from there. We will have more on this, and also your input and everybody's input here as a as a user or as a member would be very important, Peter, as you rightly said. Yeah. And we are going to definitely do certain things which kind of just help. So thank you very much. Yep. Okay. So if we can continue with the data management body of knowledge. It is uh, known by the DM Bog wheel, comprising of the, the. It's on the next slide. Okay. Comprising of the knowledge areas, and the knowledge areas have their own expertise. So that is what you see in the data management world. You have lots of experts, but these experts are, find it difficult to. Uh, to work together, and therefore we need some data governance in place to. Uh, yeah, to let the experts uh, excel in their own expertise uh, by having principles where people all adhere to. So it is a simple model. Just be the expert who you are. Do you want to work as a data modeler with someone who's working on document and content management? Through data mm -hmm. governance, you are starting to talk about the same language. So that is the one of the powers, just combining the skills from around to the organization. Yep. So here you see uh, what I've ju just uh, said. It is a comprehensive framework. All the, the major uh, methods are uh, written in it. All the names of the people that we think are important in the data management industry has supported the DM book, and most of them even contributed in the book itself. So it is just 
uh, a detailed uh, framework to assist you in the data management processes and procedures. So get your organization uh, uh, in order just to create the benefits for, for all the data management uh, promises that we see. And the end result, uh, therefore, is that uh, we come to lead the data management profession to maturity. We are not just technical people, move the data to the business as far as possible, because that's where the decisions are, the, are made on. Create consensus where possible. There is no such thing as the, the golden approach. You all, every organization has different characteristics and the data is where you need to excel and therefore you have to choose the best one for yourself. Mm -hmm. uh, and that that uh, will be uh, restrained by organizational issues, by cultural issues. So we just say these are the, all the commonly accepted good, good practices and it's up to you to show your skills in that to, to be able to advise which methods and uh, methods are uh, moving towards the right direction for your organization. That is what it is about. It is not, as uh, Sanjeev said, just a book where you start from the beginning. It is a handbook. Open the chapters that is relevant in for your discussion, and then you can find the good practice or best practice in your organization. Perfect. Okay. <clears throat> so why should you use, use the framework? Uh, it is just to benefit from the harmonization. It is all about harmonization. Based on harmonization, you can harmonize the business requirements to data requirements, compliance, regulatory. You can comply to the uh, regulatory rules, which is becoming more uh, important throughout the world. You uh, can, on the moment you start scaling, it becomes complex and therefore the data becomes a prob problem. And therefore, you see uh, on all the various uh, perspectives in which we have in the knowledge area, it is all about harmonization. Perfect. One, one more question. I think we will take the question along. And okay. uh, <laughs> hi, Peter. Most of the organization usually vertically align data governance either to specific business domains or IT. My opinion is DG, I mean, data governance should be independent to work efficiently. Would like to know your views on whether DG should be an independent vertical for organization. This is more related to the discussions that you see. Where do you have to position a CDO or a CIO? You see the the, the move from a CIO who was more technically oriented to a CDO, where your CDO is more um, into the organization. And then the next question is, where, where do you position the CDO? Is that immediately under the CEO? Is it under finance? Is it under the, 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 the marketing or another uh, business unit? That is the discussion w w which you need to have. So uh, okay. it is depending on, uh, on, on, on the industry. Some industries, you can say it's just part of the, 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 of the finance management because we are a finance organization, for instance. For others like government, you see that they just put it uh, immediately under the CEO, under the director, because it is... Uh, it's very important to have uh, all the quality issues cancel, uh, covered. So it, it is depending on the industry, but uh, the CDO is becoming much more important to put the uh, data governance uh, in place for, uh, somewhere in the business. Perfect. So Peter, uh, uh, <clears throat> the team is started you know, joining already. So I know it's a great occasion where we are talking about yep. India, uh, Dama India. Uh, launch, uh, you know, uh, you know, great announcement that you made, and thanks for the support. I'm going to invite, uh, you know, uh, them into this uh, and have them also introduced to the uh, user community and take it from there. So I'm adding uh, Nishu Jan, and then we have uh, Ravi Ul. Hi guys, great Hello. occasion. Hello. Hello, Peter. Hi Peter. Hi Ravi Ul. Hi Nishu. Hey. Uh, so uh, again. Uh, before you, you know we get into the conversation more i would like you uh, nishu and ravul to you know introduce yourself to the user uh, probably share your passion uh, about uh, data and then why uh, you thought that it is a great and it's a time to really build adama india and, and support that so 
Yeah. So um, thanks everyone for joining in. Um, so uh, I carry almost like 13 years of work experience into the financial products and services uh, community. And uh, I have been working in the area of data quality and data governance uh, from last like 2.5 years uh, in specific, though earlier also, I think it was just that we did not know them by those specific terms. So, uh, you know, I was actually uh, when I uh, because I think data governance is fairly a new practice which is being adopted by most of the organizations. So when, uh, you know, we all uh, definitely wanted to look for some of the best practices. And that's when Dharma comes into picture, because I think it's an it's like a Bible when we talk of the best practices in the industry. So, uh, you know, I started uh, looking for more information. Definitely it was very helpful. But then um, I felt like, you know, connecting with people to interact with them, to understand exactly like, uh, you know, what are the challenges that they faced? Because uh, conceptual is one thing, but that, uh, you know, how do we put them into uh, well-defined actions in uh, the company is a very different matter. So that's when I started, uh, you know, wanted to have that community interaction. And uh, when I read about other chapters, it was like, you know, they have their regular events which are being hosted. They have their regular forums in which people interact with each other. They discuss about the various topics. And then uh, definitely, I think I want to do that uh, certification for CDMP as well. Because um, like one, somebody pointed out that uh, what is the need of the certification? I think the best thing is to have the experience. I definitely cannot deny that. But to have that credibility assigned, uh, you know, or associated that you know the subject area through a certification is also great. So uh, I was looking for means, and that's when I kind of, uh, you know, sent out mails uh, to know if we have something like, uh, you know, a local chapter in India. And that's when Peter connected us all. And uh, when we discussed all together amongst ourselves, I think this, this, this was like uh, we all had this view that we want to have a community where people can you know, join in and uh, they can learn in the process, they can contribute in the process. So uh, just one more point, I think it, it's like industry has been going through a paradigm shift with uh, more and more uh, ways to, uh, now that the more uh, ways have been discovered to tap data, and this is not going to end here. So I think we need to be relevant in the industry. We need to keep learning from each other and that can only come if we have a community handy with whom we can have regular conversations. So that's my uh, idea about it. Great. Perfect. Great. Hey, thank you very much, uh, Nishu. Uh, and I'm glad to have you in the team and then we'll uh, definitely make that happen. So Rabi, how about you? Quick introduction and then your thoughts and then we move on. Yes. Yeah, I thank you all join in this today's uh, Dharma India journey, right? So myself, Rabiul Khan, having almost 15 years of experience in IT industry with extensive knowledge in data management, data solutions, right? Implementing data warehouse, data integrations projects, then current and now helping clients to identify potential data issues, right? And with the recommended data improvement plan. So Means in my job profile, I need to connect with many data stakeholders in an in in IT service industry or the client organizations and align with their data governance process. So gradually, again, you know, the data quality, the data governance, those things are coming into picture, right? Now, uh, why a Dama, right? Because Dama, I believe Dama is an excellent and to be honest, the one of the best data community right, to meet and interact with the best knowledgeable and data management professionals, right. So I, I'm ex uh, exciting to be part of Dharma India, which Dharma India will meet the right objectives, like right? uh, its parent organization, Dharma International does, right. And also I hope Dharma India will gain its popularity as India has a strong IT professionals with, you know, many, many um, organizations and there are people really who has the passion with data, right? So wish all the best to Dharma India for its journey, right? And uh, all the things and also we will, uh, you know, uh, make it a Dharma India journey so uh, useful to our India communities, right? So that uh, uh, it will be very good, I hope. Absolutely. Great, great thoughts, uh, Rabiul. And yes, as you rightly said, I will start Guys, you know, both of your thoughts, it's all about, you know, your, your passion and, uh, and and what you want to give back to the community. You all are carrying a lot of experiences, but that has to be put to the use 
for the for the for the public social good and probably for the country good because we are talking about you know india and odama chapter and there is a lot that we can do with data in our country so thank you very much peter thank you very much for allowing us to introduce you know both of our team member here i will you know ask you to probably carry on but before that we have a you know i think some thought came like uh, hemant uh, he is uh, you not know, talking about I mean, very from one organization to another. I mean, he is talking about the placement of the data governance function. How should be the structure? How should be the hierarchy? So thanks, Hemant, for your thought. By the way, Hemant, for some reason, is I'm not sure why he is not able to get in, but he is one of our you know member or a founding member is what I will say. I was expecting him to be in, on the call. Uh, we'll see whether he can get into that call. But in the meantime, we will continue, Peter, with your thoughts. Thank you very much. Uh, you know, Peter, can you please? Okay. You are on the mute, Peter. You can see what we have been talking about today. We will would like to add Dema India chapter. Now you have now see who, who we would like to join. So, uh, yeah, please welcome them and uh, to uh, to set uh, up the Dema India chapter. All right. Okay. Can we go to the next slide. Uh, yeah, I'm on the community. Yeah, I think we are. So now I would like to, to take you on the, 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 data, the major data management challenges to see uh, mm -hmm. why it is so important to have your local community. Mm -hmm. uh, basically what we see, we see an information overload just uh, from uh, lots of organizations getting data from everywhere, nightmare for the IT managers and well, uh, the, yeah, well, holla, it's the, for all the people that uh, would like to work with data. But on the other hand, it increases problems with data quality, especially if you cross the borders of business units. We have uh, more rules worldwide on privacy and security, and we need to comply to that. But the good thing is there are also good new opportunities introduced by data science. To get that all together, that is what we call data governance. So the, these are the major trends that we see in the world and uh, that we have to cover. Can you go to the next slide? Yep. So uh, here you, you see what what you need to do as your own community. We need to understand how we can reduce complexity. The, you have uh, local rules, you have uh, uh, worldwide trends, you have to get them together in a, in a way uh, with uh, uh, on the level of your, your own chosen maturity to reduce the complexity. And therefore you need to have the right professionals in place. I think uh, Mishu and Rabiu has explained their expertise. That is where we would like to have lots of people just uh, showing their expertise. And that is the, the knowledge that we need to share um, uh, throughout the world. And in this case, uh, yeah, start with India to make it even broader than that. So one of the things is just to get the full potential of data science. As earlier said, there are lots of new trainings on data science very good modelers, but the data part is quite immature in that area. And that is, on the moment you go to, to, to other data management professionals, we need to explain how all these different expertise within the data management expertise can strengthen each other. So you can really benefit from all data science solutions and all the risks and all the fear that is around that we can just challenge by getting the right data governance in place. How do we do that? So we have seen the wheel. We just move the wheel towards a pyramid, and then you see it is all related. So you need to have the data governance as the foundation, and on top of that, just put in one by one all the various knowledge areas to enable the promises of data science so we can work with uh, predictive modeling neural networks and other uh, robotica just based on data which is sound understandable transparent because we have done all the various uh, knowledge areas right in your organization so this is uh, the the mature model on the moment you have everything in place you can really uh, have the advanced practices that dm is promising us yeah 
this 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 is a great i uh, know i i mean i keep referring to this pyramid uh, i remember uh, one of one of the you know one time one of one, one friend asked me to really put that and uh, i loosely put that pyramid saying that somewhere uh, you know the insight and you know intelligence and everything that we talk about data science and all good things ai ml are somewhere on the top but i am sitting at the basement because if you are not dealing with that you know issue with the basement and foundation probably the insight is i mean automatically going to be you know not so good uh, which you would like to be used i mean not usable insight and that's the whole you know thought process and idea and uh, we also try to put uh, where is the market going and what is uh, the focus of the market we were just trying to understand that okay each foundation has got what market share and so that was a very good exercise that we were just doing as a you know uh, as an interest group uh, so uh, great that you brought this and uh, by the way peter iken was also part of the, uh, you know uh, one of my show and then he explained about how having the data acumen in this current you know time of the you know a situation like digital world right is very important as important as having a business acumen so yeah. that was you know something great so do watch that i mean uh, all of the user who are listening right that's great you know insight from peter iken directly and uh, you can benefit from that so uh, thank you you know uh, peter v for you know bringing this pyramid up here thank you okay you're welcome we go to the next slide yeah then okay. we can Somebody answer asked. the question on the cdmp so yes. we have different yeah. levels so this is related uh, uh yeah to to the question that, that we had previously we have the cdmp associate you have to do the data management fund uh, fundamentals uh, uh, training, and that is mainly used for beginners, six months to five years. Uh, people coming from university trying to understand it. Uh, I'm giving lots of lessons who, for people who just join an, an, a data management organization, just to uh, give them the, the holistic view as, as yeah, from a theoretical point of view. The practitioner, that is uh, where we ask uh, uh, where you can um, specialize. So you don't you don't uh, limit yourself to the data management funda fundamentals, but you can specialize in data warehousing. You can specialize in data architecture. There are seven uh, different uh, uh, expertises currently covered with CDMP. So you can choose for your own career path and, and do that. That is mainly uh, for people with between two to ten years experience in the in the industry and the third one the CDMP master uh, that is where you also have to show that you have uh, uh, experience and then you can uh, yeah uh, that you have uh, uh, contributed to the data management organization and that you are seen as, a, as an expert not only because you have done your certification but also of your experience and all the valuable things you have added to uh, the data management field. Doesn't mean you have to do something for DEMA, but you have to show that you did something more than only your work. That is what, what it is. And on the moment, uh, you, have, uh, you are seen as a very much appreciated uh, data management expert. You can grow towards the CDMP fellow. Currently, there are three fellows so it is not something you earn very easily it is not just a commercial part that is what i would like to say it is really just to uh, we we do not have uh uh, uh, uh re exams just because because we we would like to, to have the money for you it is a volunteer organization not for profit organization that's different for lots of other certifications and therefore, it, it is just from the moment you have it, you can show it for your whole life that you've done it. And of course, of course, you can keep it up to date, but it is not lost that you what you have done in the past. It's still valid. So this gives uh, the idea. And yeah, w w uh, I agree that industry experience is much more important, but because there is so many, so much, so many initiatives and trainings that you sometimes you need to show uh, uh, that you have the skills as well. Uh, I, I've got now 35 years experience. I, I thought, why do I need to do the CDMP uh, a few years ago? I just did it because, and you see that people are now referring to it. Did it add anything to my knowledge? No, 
but it is something that you, uh, as a community, and you can now see uh, this is uh, this is happening. So, on the moment, you the, the, the yeah you want to do that. I've come, come giving a lots of trainings to people with 20 years experience. Uh, I just say say to them, just come to my my training within one. If you want to do it in one day, it's okay. If you want to do it in two days, and immediately afterwards you can do the training, and they all succeed because it is really about the industry experience and not about the book. Absolutely, perfect, great. Um, yeah, I think Nishu also talked about that. It's all about you know you are adding the credibility, or maybe you are enhancing what you already have. Uh, and that's all about continuing education that you know I was also discussing in one of my you know uh, chat yeah. with uh, Dr. Anne Marie. Yeah. You, see, you see, you see lots of organizations on on data quality or master data. Some people say master data is something you have to do, uh, and then confusing it with metadata. Uh, yeah. You want to separate these discussions. If you see, but these people don't know anything about CDMP, then you can challenge them. Do you really know what you're talking about? That is why we. We think it is important to have this. Absolutely. Okay. And to give you a quick hint, so on the moment you want to do that, we don't say just read the book from from scratch, but focus on the most important uh, chapters where you see that, for instance, uh, data quality, eleven percent, data modeling. These are the items. So the base for the, we we expect you to have a base knowledge on data modeling. So you're also able to understand data quality. Uh, on uh, big data, it is uh, less. Uh, so only have two percent, for instance. So you see that it's uh, the way we think currently the the knowledge should be spread on the uh, knowledge areas. Yeah. Perfect. That's really helpful. So I think uh, looking at the percentage, people can probably pick up uh, like data data eleven percent. Uh, mass data 10 percent, data modeling 11 percent, and then focus yeah. on those. And obviously, they got to focus on other things as well to really pass. But uh, but yeah, uh, that's a good strategy. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Does so, it give you a good idea of Dema I? What we're doing? I mean, I definitely do. Uh, how about others? Nishu, review and then. People out yeah. here. Yeah, we have a plan. Uh, yeah, Peter, okay. I think that was fairly uh, comprehensive and, you know, kind of explaining exactly the gist of uh, Dharma, which I'm sure is going to be of interest to so many people who have joined. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. And then uh, Hemant obviously is helping us definitely wherever he is at this moment. <laughs> so, uh, He's trying to you know, really you know, get, uh, give a lot of insight around that. Uh, he's also an equally passionate uh, data guy. And uh, we are fortunate to you know, have this founding team who is definitely going to you know, make a difference this time. Uh, Peter, I think we were talking, right? In, in past also, this was tried. Uh, I know there may be a various challenges. Uh, and we appreciate uh, the effort of people who might have tried in the past. And, uh, and on this platform, I am going to really request all of them uh, to, to feel free to participate. And we want to learn from all of those because that is also going to be a great learning for us that what we need to do right to make this successful, correct? So, yeah. so I, I'm, I'm really going to you know, uh, reach out uh, uh, all, you know, everybody possible. It is, a, it is for everybody, it's a community. It's not for me, not for Nishu, not for Rabiul, and not for Hemant. It is for everybody. Uh, to make it successful and then you know grow from there that's the whole idea you know peter and i really appreciate uh, you taking time uh, backing us up here uh, in the india team and then you know uh, giving us a good launching platform right so so thank you very much uh, you know peter and uh, before we kind of you know we are already on time i think we have exceeded which is good <laughs> because there's a lot of great information that you shared today um, uh, any parting thoughts, uh, you know, Peter, uh, anyone, Nishu, Rabiul, uh, before we yeah. close? Thank you. For, thank you for the invitation. It's uh, just an introduction for uh, yeah, what, what you can expect by setting up a community. Uh, I wish you all the success and uh, 
uh, I think uh, on the moment you join, you will be rewarded by all the the, the, the sharing of knowledge that that we can offer. And it's, it's not a, or not only within the Dema India chapter. There are lots of other chapters around. Everybody would like to share his knowledge, share his ideas, and also share uh, the way you can set up a community. You are not on your own. I can help you, but the other chapters can even help you more. They've got the instruments. They can. Uh, so all the questions you can get uh, are there. Lots of people have done it before, and it is quite rewarding, I must say. Yep, that's a great point. I'm already, you know, uh, getting help from uh, Dama Italy, uh, Dama South Africa, uh, you know, and Japan. Correct. So we are already getting those guidance and, in, you know, uh, help. So yep, I, it looks like it is really a very closely connected, you know, community. So you know, happy to be part of this, uh, Peter. Okay. And thanks, Hemant. He is really doing, you know, great work for us today uh, behind the scene, and he has posted our link of our LinkedIn page. Uh, which is Dama India. So whoever is there on the call, all of you, please refer to that, that page. Go like it. Be part of that community. And uh, we will have more such conversation in future, you know, future in coming time. And uh, we will have more connect, uh, more, you know, probably a conference or topic discussion, study group, all that we are planning. So thank you very much, uh, everyone. And uh, this is time to say bye. And then thanks for joining, you know, Peter, Nishu and Ravi. Thank you very thank much. Thank you so much, Peter. Thank you, Sanjeev. Thank and you. And thank you, Heyman, for supporting us. Yeah. Thank you.